Zazzle Tutorial 2024 Zazzle Print on Demand Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about an incredible platform that is great for your print on demand selling voyeur. So we're going to be going through Zazzle, okay? And I'm going to be teaching you how you're going to sign up and how you're going to sell products on this, which are totally print on demand. So you don't have to sell a new product by yourself or do shipping by yourself. It's all done through Zazzle. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Zazzle.com, as you can see. Now over here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create an account and we're going to want to create a seller account so to start off with a seller account what you're going to do is you're going to click on sell on zazzle now once you do that here it says do what you love become a zazzle creator today by monetizing your content or creative services and creative passive income opportunities so what we're going to do is we're going to click on sell on zazzle now it's going to ask us our email so I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself. You don't necessarily need to go through this step, but if you want to, you can do that. You can also use your Facebook, Google, and Apple. So I'm going to use the email that I just added, and then we're going to add a simple password for ourselves. So once this password is in, we're going to go ahead and click on create new account. Now, once we've done that, it's going to bring us right here where it's going to ask us our first name, last name. So I'm simply going to go ahead and add that. Now, once we've added our names, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And once we do that, you're right over here. So it says to open a Zazzle store, you need a valid email address. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on continue and it's going to tell us that it sent a validation request on our email. So it could be a link or it could be a code. Most of the times Zazzle sends you a link on your email. So what you're going to do is you're going to stay on your mail wait for the validation email to reach you and once the validation email has been sent you're pretty much set and good to go so let me just validate my zazzle and we're going to get more into the details now once you validated your email you're simply going to come over to your account like this now your account has a lot of different things to create okay so first of all here are your account reviewings then you have your account settings you have the gift card and account balance and then we have the design center now, this is the main game changer because in the design center, you're going to be creating your products. OK, so you can go into create a product. And once you're over here, you can create your very own products from different niches and categories. So it could be anything related to home sports and games like mugs, pillows and poofs, blankets, aprons and a whole lot more. Then we have clothing accessories. You have invitations and stationery, arts and craft, office, school, electronics, baby and kids, weddings and countless more products. OK, so you're going to choose your niche and category. So let's say I want to go with mugs and I want to go with men's clothing. OK, these are the two variants that I want to go with. So first of all, we're going to work on the men's clothing. So let's say I want to print a white hoodie. OK, so you're going to choose a good price hold for it as well, because hoodies are usually pretty expensive. So I'm going to search up hoodie up here and we can get a lot of hoodies. So and this one is the best, in my opinion, out of all of these. So I'm going to click on this. And once we click on this, it's going to open things up. It's going to tell us the price markup. Once that is done, it's going to give you the different variants with it as well. You can select the different sizes. So you have the adult small, adult medium, adult large, adult extra large, adult twice extra large and thrice extra large, obviously, which take extra charges from you. Then we have printing. OK, so you can actually choose different under bases. OK, you can choose different materials. You can choose different looks and a whole lot more. So let's say I want to go with the classic right now. OK, so once we're in the classic, you can also change the vivid printing, OK, which is basically an upper layer of color mainly. So let's say I want to go with white. All right, let's keep it on white right now. Let's keep it pretty standard. So once we're over here, we can also see the images from different angles just to confirm how your product actually looks. And once you have confirmed all these things, what you're going to do is you're going to click on customize this design. Now, once we're into customization, what you're going to do is you're going to add a certain design onto it. 
So whatever design you make over here is going to appear in the preview bar just like this. So you can either upload your very own logos or images or you can create one right over here. So let's say, first of all, I want to upload something for myself. So I'm going to click on upload images. Now, once you click on upload images, you're going to find the image you want to implement onto design. So let's say I just uploaded an image that I want to apply over my print on demand hoodie and it just got uploaded. Here we have it. So you're going to open it right here. And now obviously going to fit it somehow into your design. So once we hold it like this, I can crop it in the aspect ratios. Obviously always make sure to crop it inside the aspect ratios, not too big, not too small. And once we have cropped it in, you can check the preview bar over here. So just look at it. Looks pretty incredible. looks pretty nice. And if you want a good design on the front, you can do that as well. Let me show you how. So once you've done this, you can actually add texts over it as well. So you can go on text, click on add text, and you can add text like, uh, let's say I'm going to add blood born. I'm going to add that right now. And once we do that, we're going to click on OK. Now what you can do is you can actually mess around with the color of the text. Let's say I'm going to keep it red. You can change the font as well. Obviously, right now I am not a big fan of the font. So I'm going to go ahead and change it up. So whatever font you choose, you can simply set it like this across your design. And it depends on how you choose to add it across everything. So let's say I'm just going to make it a tad bit smaller and we're going to keep it like this. Now, as this is done, basically now you have your design up and running. OK, so you can actually expand its size to see how it looks. It looks pretty incredible. The print looks pretty neat. And once all of your editing is done, you can also see your design on different variants. So on tote bags, trucker hat, apron, denim jacket, baby blanket, and a whole lot more. You can keep going on and on. So once you've done this, you're simply going to click on sell it. And what this will do is it will start selling your print on demand products. And the same you can do with the mug that we opened over here. Simply, you know, go over to any mug you want, choose any color design, just click on it. It's going to open up the designer section. You're going to click on customize this design. And as you can see, this now has portions. So because obviously a cup is rounded, right? So it's going to create portions like this for the print so it can round the main cup design. So if I were to take this image, you know, and I were to increase it throughout the main design that we have like this. Let me show you how the external design will actually look like. Crop it up. And now we have this. So if we open this up, you can see this is how it's going to be looking, you know, because it's a circular design. So this is how you can create mugs as well. Simply click on done again. And now you have a mug design as well. Start selling it right now. And that is basically the main idea of Zazzle. Now, if you enjoyed this video and if you found Zazzle helpful, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And also do let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. Till then, that is all from me. I hope you all keep having an incredible day and I will see all of you wonderful people in the next video. Goodbye.